Hello everyone, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collective reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are currently connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, collective, let's take a look at your person's current feelings for you. Let's see. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what are this person's current feelings for the collective? Whoever it is that the collective is currently connecting to and dealing with in love, what are this person's current feelings for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. Let's get one shuffle. There we go. Uh, one more. One more. Okay. Here we go. What are this person's current feelings for the collective? Ooh, that card just flew out of the deck. Two of Pentacles is their current feelings. Okay, so this person is trying to make a decision. Hmm. They're trying to make a decision, okay? Hmm. They're trying to decide what they want to do next. Hmm. You know what? Let's just clarify that. Let's just nip it in the butt. Let's see what, it, what is it that they're um, juggling here. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles and this person's current feelings for the collective. Clarify the Two of Pentacles and their current feelings for the collective. Oh, interesting. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Mm, so they're trying to decide if they want to have a new beginning with you or not. Mm. Okay. Let's keep going. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for the collective. I feel like they're they're asking themselves, is this worth it? Is it worth it or is it not worth it? Should I go for it or should I not go for it? Hmm. All right. I don't know what that means, but let's keep going. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for the collective. Okay, seven of wands. So I feel like this is your energy um, collective. It kind of looks like you shut this person out. You block this person. This feels like your energy. So let me clarify your energy. Tell me about the seven of wands and the collective's energy. Uh, the five of wands, yeah, kind of looks like there was a fight, an argument, a disagreement, some sort of drama or conflict that popped off be between the two of you. And I feel like this is you basically in, in, in an energy of, no, no, I'm not going to deal with this. I'm not going to deal with you. You need to go. I don't have time for this um, drama or, f or for these issues. I don't have time for this. You need to go. Or, yeah, something about I'm not going to deal with this or I'm not going to uh, accept this. Okay, so it kind of looks like you put your foot down with this person. Hmm. All right. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for the collective. Oh, okay. So we have the Six of Cups. This is um, a soulmate connection. It represents a soulmate 
um, union. So yeah, it kind of looks like this person still has very strong feelings for you and they, sh they still really want to be with you. They strongly want to be with you. I also feel like this person misses you. They miss the relationship they used to have with you or the connection that they used to have with you. And they don't want to argue with you. They don't want to fight with you. They just want to kind of start over with you and leave the past in the past and be happy with you again. Hmm. But let me verify that. Let's take a look at what is it that this person wants with you. Let's get some verification. Um, confirmation here. Spirit angels and guys, please show me what is it that this person wants with the collective? What does this person truly want with the collective currently? What does this person want with the collective? So we have the card of death here. Mm. Yeah, it's it's like what I just said. I feel like there's something about this person wanting to just um, leave the past in the past. Whatever issues you two um, were having with each other, like they just want to, you know, bury it and not talk about it anymore. And just forget about it and move on from it. Tell me more about what is it that this person truly wants with the collective currently? What does this person want? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is kind of like a fixing energy. They want to fix what was broken between the two of you. I'm getting an energy of them wanting to like fix their reputation with you and regain your trust in them. I'm also getting an energy of them wanting to like return back to the routine that you two used to have with each other. I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, there's something about a routine that you two used to have. Which basically means, you know, like the, the stability or the, the security, the structure that you two used to have um, within this relationship. Mm. Yeah, with the Six of Cups, it's kind of like, let's Let's fix the relationship and let's make it, let's make the relationship be what it used to be. It's, it's kind of like an energy of they, they want to go back to the, to the good old days or to, to the good, to the good moments. Hmm. Yeah, can we just go back to getting along with each other? Like we used to get along. Can we just go back to um, our regular relationship? The way we used to have it, you know? It's, it's something like that. Tell me more about what is it that this person wants with the collective? What do they desire with the collective currently? So we have the Seven of Cups here. Uh, what does that mean? Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups spirit. Clarify the Seven of Cups in, in regards to what they want with the collective. The Ten of Swords. Uh, ten of Swords. Tell me more. The Two of Cups and the Temperance card. Hmm. 
I don't love this energy, to be honest with you. Um, because it kind of feels a little bit, and I've been getting this from this person, but it kind of feels like this person is questioning, you know, why this relationship went south between the two of you. There's something about them feeling a little bit confused or feeling a little bit like... Yeah, it's like they feel a little bit perplexed about why is it that this relation relationship seems to be constantly um, experiencing issues? Why do we keep getting into these um, arguments or these fights? There's something about them not understanding why you two can't ever you know, be a harmonious couple or, you know, a harmonious relationship. Mm -mm. Interesting. All right. Um, tell me more about the Seven of Cups energy. Let me clarify that a little bit more. What else can you tell me about this Seven of Cups energy? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like I said, they just want to kind of... Um, at this point, they don't really care what they have to say or what they have to do to get you to bring down your guard and to let them back in, let them back into your life. Because with the Two of Cups, it is showing me that they really do um, value this relationship with you and they do have really strong feelings for you and they don't want to lose you. So even though they're in this energy of, you know, I don't know why we keep having issues or why there's constantly trouble between the two of us. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is them basically saying, you know what, I don't even care. Like... I just want to fix things regardless of of the reason why we're we're having issues like if I, have, if I have to apologize I'll apologize you know I'll do whatever I have to do I'll say whatever I have to say you know I don't really care you know I just want to stop I just want to start stop the the arguments or the fights or the disagreements, the conflict, the drama. Like, I just want to stop it. Hmm. I don't know how, how you're going to like that collective. That's my question. So I'll get, I guess we'll see in the outcome. I'm not sure if you're going to respond well to that or not. You know? I mean, I guess it depends um, on the type of person that you are. Or on, I don't know what it depends on, to be honest with you. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles does... You know, it is a very um, stable energy. It, it's it's also a very kind of honest energy. So I am seeing that this person does honestly want to heal the relationship with you because they do honestly care about you and um, they they honestly feel a strong soulmate connection with you and they don't feel like it's worth it. They don't feel like it's worth it to to lose you over something petty, which I feel like that's how they're viewing whatever it is that happened between the two of you. They feel like in the big picture of it all, in, in the grand scheme of it all, they feel like it's petty or it's, you know, it's something minor. It's something that that's fixable, you know? It's not worth them losing you over. So 
that's why they're basically in this energy of, I don't really care at this point what happened or how it happened or, you know, any of that. I just, I just want to fix things. So if I have to apologize, I'll apologize. And if you want me to do something, then I'll do it, you know. Just tell me what I have to do. Tell me whatever it is that's going to make you happy and, and bring down whatever it is that's going to bring, bring down your guard because that's what I'm going to do to, to get this relationship back on track. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why this person is doing this, though. Let me clarify these cards to see a little bit more into their energy. Spirit, tell me about the death card. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. We also have Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer. Could be any sign, though. Clarify the death card spirit connected to this person. Yeah, we have the eight of swords. Yeah, there's something about this person feeling like I'm tired of I'm tired of always having issues in this relationship with you. Of I'm tired of us always um, having some kind of conflict with each other and, you know, never getting along and, you know, never agreeing with each other or whatever it might be. Like, I'm tired of the, the tension or the stress or the, the back and forth energy between the two of us. Even if they were the ones to cause it, you know, I feel like they're, they're just tired of it. So they really want to change the, the dynamic of this relationship. They want to change how, how, how things have been playing out between the two of you. And I do see them really wanting to like create a lot more stability between the two of you and, and harmony and overall just peace with the, with the temperance card, peace. Yeah, because it kind of looks like every time, sorry, every time you two get into some sort of fight or disagreement or issue, this person feels really tormented. They feel really stressed. They feel really agitated or frustrated or just uh, worried, concerned. Hmm. Well, what's the issue? I, I, I would like to know that, just out of curiosity. What can you tell me about the Seven of Wands spirit um, in regards to the issue between the collective and this person? Five of Wands to the Seven of Wands. What's the issue? What's the main issue within this relationship between the collective and this person? So we have the Page of... Uh-oh. <laughs> page of Pentacles. Mm, yikes. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, so this person has already done this before. You're tired of this person trying to fix things with you. But it's kind of like you never see any actual change, though. That's, that's yeah, I think, I think that's what's happening on your end, collective. You just, you're tired of this person apologizing or you know, coming towards you to make things right with you, to fix things with you. And then, you know, after a little while, it, it, the, the same issues resurface all over again. So 
they don't actually make any change. They don't actually change. They fix things with you, but it doesn't last long because they go back and do the same thing all over again. Whatever that is, I don't, I don't know what that is. So you're tired of this person apologizing and making things right with you. Mm. Also, this person, well, tell me more about this Page of Pentacles in regards to the issue between the collective and this person. Spirit, why is the Page of Pentacles the issue? Uh, the Three of Wands. Page of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Wands is definitely, um, it's, it's kind of like a stagnancy energy, the Three of Wands. You still don't know where you stand with this person, with the Three of Wands. You still don't know where you stand with them. That's the issue that never gets resolved, basically. That's the issue that never gets resolved. This person makes it seem like you two are going to progress and move forward as, as a relationship, but it never happens, you know? They might, this could represent that they continuously give you a false sense of hope or a false, a false sense of security that never actually manifests. Okay, all right. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen moving forward because um, I'm definitely interested in seeing how this ends. Okay, because I'm definitely feeling the tension here. Oh, all right. You could cut the tension with a knife. At this point, <laughs> all right. Mm. Yeah, the tension is so thick you can you can cut it with a knife. <laughs> all right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me um, what's the outcome here. What actions will this person take towards the collective and what's going to end up happening between the collective and this person? How are things going to play out between them moving forward? So we have the Hierophant moving forward. We also have the Page of Swords moving forward. Oh boy, yikes. Okay, and we have the Justice card. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups here with the Wheel of Fortune also, and the Lovers card as well. Seven of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Three of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, the Sun, and the Star. With the, hold on, with the King of Wands to the Ten of Swords, the Moon, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is going to go well here. I just don't. Yeah, and it's this person's energy, you know, this this Four of Cups energy to the Three of Swords energy. It definitely makes me wonder if this person is like secretly taking this relationship as a joke or taking you as a joke. You know, it makes me wonder that, but let me clarify. All right. Spirit, tell me about the Hierophant in regards to the outcome. Yeah, 
you know like the the energy of when like someone acts dumb or you know those people when you, those type of people sometimes you meet them and you wonder if they're just acting dumb or if they really are dumb it's hard to tell I feel like I'm getting that type of energy here with this person. Like, it's hard to tell if this person's just acting them, like playing the role of them, or if that's how they, if that's who they really are. It's hard to tell. Tell me about the Hierophant and the outcome. The Ten of Wands, you're not having it. With the Four of Swords, you're not having it. Oh, sorry about that noise. Justice with the Six of Swords. You're not having it. Tell me more about the Justice card. Knight of Swords. You're not having it. You're not having it four times. Look at this person like running straight towards a brick wall, which is, I feel like this is you. <laughs> I, I feel like this is you collective with the justice card and the hero font card here. I feel like this this person is r running straight towards a brick wall at high speed, which is interesting because they were going pretty slow over here. You see, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. They went from the Nine of Pentacle, Knight of Pentacles to the Knight of Swords. You know, how did you change your speed so drastically like that in, in such a short amount of time? That feels like a red flag right there, you know? Yeah, I feel like this person has a little bit of an actor energy or an actress energy in them. I do. I'm getting that vibe. All right. So in the outcome, I definitely see you, like I said, being a brick wall. You're not budging. You're not, um, you're not compromising on your values, on your, on your standards. This is kind of like an energy of, I said what I said. I feel like this is how your energy towards this person. I said what I said, and I'm not changing it. I said what I said, and I'm not changing it. I'm not going to change my mind. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. You're either all in or you're all out. I'm not going to accept, you know, half effort. Half work, you know. Half investment. I'm not going to accept that. Well, you know, I feel like this person doesn't budge either. That's the thing. That's the thing here. Because I feel like you don't budge, but I feel like this person doesn't budge either. You know? I feel like this person is pretty stubborn um, themselves, but not in a good way, I would say. Because I feel like this person is stubbornly... Like, they're stubbornly being very uncompromising. Hold on. I don't know what that means. Let me clarify that. Yeah, let me clarify that, because I feel like that's, it. that's the issue here. Tell me about the Four of Cups to the Three of Swords. Yeah, what does that mean? What's that energy mean, Spirit? Four of Cups to the Three of Swords in their energy towards the collective for the outcome. The Nine of Pentacles. Oh, well, okay. Interesting. Well, the Nine of Pentacles is all about, uh, sorry, it's, it's all about being single. So it kind of looks like this person wants to be single but also wants to be with you at the same time, you know? They want to be single, but they also want to be involved in a real relationship with you. 
it kind of looks like this person is still holding on to some sort of heartbreak that they experienced in the past with the three of swords and they're still harboring a lot of bitterness and resentment and you know anger um, connected to this past um, breakup that they went through with a past person and They kind of refuse, basically, with the Nine of Pentacles to, to put themselves in that position ever again. So this person has the mentality, basically, they secretly have the mentality that everyone is out to get them. You know, no one has their best interests at heart. Everyone is deceiving them. Everyone is lying to them. Everyone is tricking them. So... I feel like this person, um, they prefer to just maintain themselves unattached. However, when it comes to you, though, they do feel a very strong emotional connection with you. So they, they don't want to lose you. They want to keep being in your life and they want you to keep being in their life, but they are in this emotionally unavailable energy at the same time. Like, there's, there's, um, there's a big wall here. There's a big barrier here between this person and you that this person is creating. And it's due to the fact that they, they're still angry over a, a betrayal that they feel like they experienced in the past with a with a past person. So they're not really willing to open up 100% to you. So then what the what was the point of this knight of pentacles energy? Look, I don't get all of this I don't get all of this energy that they're um pouring into you for nothing. It's almost like they want to secure you. They want to lock you down. They they want to make sure you don't go anywhere. So they're doing they're doing their best to make you feel, you know, um secure and and like you can trust them. And you know, like you're in a stable relationship with them. But in reality, this person is always secretly emotionally detached from you, emotionally unavailable. You know, this person's contradictory. There's a there's definitely a contradiction going on here with this person. They don't make sense. They don't make sense at all, which is why they're showing up as the Knight of Swords. This is a very irrational energy. I feel like this person can't make up their mind. I feel like that's the big issue here. They just can't make up their mind um, in regards to whether they want to take the relationship to the next level with you or not. I feel like a part of them really wants to take things to the next level. But I feel like they keep changing their mind. They keep, um, they keep second guessing themselves and that's not fair for you. They're not really thinking about you. They're not really thinking about how they're affecting you. They just expect you to continue, you know, riding on this roller coaster with them. Because at this point, they're used to it. So, you know, they don't, they don't feel dizzy. You feel dizzy because you're not used to it. Because you're a different type of person. You're, you don't have those insecurities that they have. So, you know, you're sick to your stomach. You're nauseous already, but this person's not nauseous because they're used to that up and down energy, you know? They're used to being um, in that constant, you know, You know, that constant um, 
roller coaster. All right. Um, so in regards to what's going to happen, I was going to clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords, please. Spirit. The death card. Yeah, this is this is a stalemate. Is this is what's going to happen? That's what's going to happen moving forward. A stalemate is what's going to happen. Um, like I said, I feel like you're not going to budge and they're not going to budge. And I do feel like this person is going to keep trying and keep, you know, um, attempting to, to reconnect with you and reestablish a relationship with you and, you know, go back to the, to the good old days with the Six of Cups with you. But I do see you being very firm with your boundaries, and I just don't see that they're going to get their way with you. But the thing is that you're not going to get your way with them either, you know? So it's like, because I feel like you want a serious commitment, you know? You want someone who who's mature and, and um, consistent and, you know, serious. And so you're not going to get that from them. And I feel like you tried. I feel like you tried, but you're not going to get that from them and they're not going to get what they want from you. So it's like, this feels like a very lose-lose type of situation here, if that makes sense. Uh, this feels like a lose-lose outcome. And not that you're, you're going to be um, affected because, I mean, you know, I mean, you've already been affected, so that it's too late for that. You've already been affected. But it's not that you're going to, like, um, um, have any losses in reality, you know? Um, I feel like in the big picture of it all, it's not really a, a loss here. This is really, um, it's really a win for you because ultimately this person was going to hold you back from reaching, you know, your full potential or from reaching the, the life that you were always meant to have, or the relationship that you were always meant to have, you know? The relationship that you deserve. So, it might feel like a loss, it might feel like you're losing, but in reality, you're not losing. In reality, you're, you're gaining. You're gaining, um, you know, you're gaining space in your life for for the right person. All right, so Collective, I hope this reading helped you in some way. I hope it was able to resonate with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.